Hi everyone, this is Nadav Brill from Brill Studio and I'd like to show you how to get uh, ShaderMonger to work. So um, let's get started. Um, so basically, initially when you load the UI, you'd get nothing in there. I currently have a few shaders set in here, but we'll just close that for now. So basically, what we need is um, a few objects with materials on them. So let's just create a fong, just a basic basic something so we can show. So right now we have a fong and a red fong and when we transfer to um, Shadermonger we can extract this shader very simply. Uh, we have a few options. Uh, we have the Shadermonger template the custom template, which we'll later on get to that, um, and three primitive templates. Naturally, sphere, cube, and cone. But Shadermonger is most important. This is where we have our template, and this one is very important since it also affects the render settings in Render Globals. So, only the only thing you have to do is select your object and press extract shaders from objects and then we'll have an, a few other options you can rename the shader uh, the default would be uh, the shader group name um, you can extract textures if you have textures on this shader and you can use lighting from template or not or disable that to not use the lighting from template and use the lighting in your scene Ideally, this was made for um, extracting template, extracting shaders directly from a scene which you've already lit up, so you'd get the same lighting, more or less. Uh, the other option is location for the new shader. You can choose between existing groups, like I have here, like I can select and, and, and input those new shaders directly into stuff group, or you can create a new shader a new folder or leave it blank for leave it as ungrouped we'll just leave it as ungrouped right now and press extract shaders so what we're getting here is our template with um, the red shader as you can see this might take a little bit longer since um, our render globals are pretty high so um, naturally we want to get the best result in the render you can always change to change that back when using the custom template or any other one uh, now since we pressed renaming our shader we can just rename that to red shader and press OK so now we have it over here so that'll be the first step in extracting the shaders um, second thing would be uh, cataloging everything. Let's say I want to move this, I'll just press that, press move, and copy it to a new folder called colors. And now, now it's a new folder called colors. That's it for our first part. Thank you very much for listening.